welcome to Sucker for Love, Date to Die For. This is going to be fucking interesting. I'm literally recording this just as I got done with um, like a uh, through Blood. So this is going to be interesting. I have no idea how loud this is. Is there a way for me to check this? Oh yeah, I didn't realize this was a horror game, by the way. In case you haven't noticed. Is there visit dev? What I do? No, I don't want to be here. No. No! Okay, well, I guess we're just going with this. Let's see if we can change the the audio in here. What in the fuck is this shit? By the way, these episodes probably aren't going to be too long. I looked it up. This game is about, like, five hours-ish, so... Maybe we'll do, like, record, like, an hour or so. I think that'll be a pretty good time. Survival chapter... Okay. This is... Okay, so I guess we're doing this. What is that cover? Oh? The thousand versus the one. Am I the one or am I the thousand? What am I competing with here? I'm here for the goat mommy. I'm not here for the what the fuck? Cosmic Things beyond our understanding. Okay, sounds like some love crappy and shit. Merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. <laughs> we must all become simps for the goat mommy. For Shab uh Nira. I hope I said that correctly and I didn't get this shit fucking taken down. Oh. They are sequestered to the stars. Uh huh. Appearing only through challenging, failure prone rituals. Can I sequest them to my bedroom? Incantations. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, this is fucking weird. Can I have one of those matches? Pretty cool. Fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. Oh, I don't want to commit horrors. I want to commit the fun time. Living in the shadows isn't an obscure, imperceptible shade, but a tangible madman. That is it me? Am I the madman? Am I going for that <coughs> elder kissy? The undeniably material. Okay, I didn't catch any of that. That went in one ear and out the other. Ooh. The simple hatchet in the hand. So I have a hatchet. I'm going up against a thousand followers. With a hatchet. Am I going to be like the slasher? Like, or a slasher villain? Did something scary happen? Oh? Go, mommy? Oh, God! No, this is not good for me. I am horrible when it comes to horror. Like, the slightest thing makes me jumpy. Is that me? I'm fucking cute. In the book you're reading, did it was me! Scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. Thank you, though. Oh, this is me. Okay. Well, I guess I should read this in my voice, huh? Oh, just a dream is all. I'm all right. Oh. Sorry, this might sound strange, but can you tell me where I am? My bookstore in Sacramento. Wait. Are you lost? What do you mean? Did I get sucked into the book? Oh, no. Oh, I'm sucked into a different reality. I got isekai <laughs> Yeah, I am lost. Can you send me out of here? Uh, no. Honk. <laughs> oh no. I think I know where I am now. Thanks. I've been having odd dreams lately. Waking in strange places with no memory of how I got there. Starting around the same time folk- Oh, same time folks began vanishing from my hometown. Uh, I'm not saying that shit. So, I'm getting drugged is what I'm reading here. Alright. Oh, what a lovely place. <laughs> I don't think the sky should be green, and I don't think forests should be purple. Just saying. Despite the soul- Why am I doing it in, like, a different voice? Despite the small size of this backwater town, dozens have gone missing this past year. So many that the trains won't even stop here now. Yeah, it's a good call. I wouldn't want to come here either. Come here for a holiday, you get fucking sucked up by the elder deity or, like, an alien. Uh, word locals say that they've spotted angry spirits prowling the woods. Animals with too many features. Oh, okay, so that's for children. Because I remember Shab Nigaroth, like, children are, like, like multiple heads, arms are all fucked up, they got tentacles and shit. Kind of fucked up. Actually, you know what, that's right at the Japanese route. Watching. Outsiders can't uh, shake the feelings of being watched by the townsfolk. Unblinking. Purple eyes. That's kind of hot. That's pretty cool. I want purple eyes. Sounds hot. I'm not saying... What is... How do you even... I need to learn how to say this. Sacramento, is that how you say it? Sacramento? I'm just saying Sacramento. Sacramento Stair, they call it. Have you made a selection? <laughs> Did oh? you find a book to your liking? Yes, it. I should probably stop having my, like, mouse hovering over tits. Yes, it's this one. It's by, uh, Lovecraft. I really like the way how he 
uh, describes in mouth. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to keep you here late on my no, account. No, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading. She's so pretty. Books, but it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you better hurry home. You're not the one calling them now, are you, miss? What's this, a note? Oh, my family fled this place long ago. Long ago when, uh, when the disappearances start. Wait, what? Wait, they fled? So they just left me here. Just fucking out in the wind. <laughs> Fend for yourself, you little shit. Uh, but a letter imported me to come visit appeared in my apartment earlier this week. Hey, Stardust. Mom's still pretty shaken up about... Everything, so I'm taking care of her at Graham's place. If you come by for a visit, I know it'll cheer her right up and help her feel better. We miss you like crazy. Then why did you fucking leave me in this godforsaken town? <laughs> this is definitely my father's handwriting. And only my parents call me Stardust. Okay, well, this is already suspicious as hell to me then. They no way you want to point that out and not have that be a twist. Impossible. Mom, Dad, I know you're not really waiting for me. You've been gone for over a year. Yeah, so they did a bit. Wait. Why are the words, like, fucked up? Do you see this? Like, this one has a strong outline. This one has, like, more of a pale outline. Oh, that's for her... No, that wouldn't be contrasting, would it? You've been gone for over a year. But whoever sent this note obviously wants me to come poking around. I aim to find out why. Maybe you fucking don't. You know this is a trap. So why would you go to it? You have no survival instinct. Give it to the police. Let them deal with this shit. There's something strange in Sacramento. <laughs> I don't know why me calling this fucking Sacramento makes me laugh. The dreams, the stare, the spirits, it's all connected. I'm sure of it. Whatever darkness has settled in our, in our necks of the woods, I'm putting a stop to it. Alright, this guy's got fucking main character syndrome. God bless his soul. Mom, Dad, I love you both so much. I'll get to the bottom of this. Thanks for letting me doze off. I promise I'll come back real soon. In. Oh, that's fucking creepy as shit. Yep. <laughs> Not suspicious at all. Nope. Got that motherfucking mm -hmm look, if you know what I mean. The warm glow of the bookstore fades behind me as I step out into the dusk. This is pretty fun. I've never done, like, a game like this. Is this, like, um, I don't know what it's called. It's, like, the fucking Fate series, whatever it's called. I'll fucking figure it out. Sacramento. <laughs> this should be, fuck, this should be my hometown, but... It's become unrecognizable. Is it because everything is fucking purple and there's fucking green smuck in the air? <laughs> the streets are- fuck. Uh, the, the- I am- what? The streets are overrun with dense foliage and missing person poster. That, uh, that litter every surface. They call this missing person's lane. Now, de death researchers put a poster here before vanishing themselves. Don't go down here then! The only path left and leads straight to my Graham's house, but something feels off. The familiar landmarks of my childhood are nowhere to be found. Then why are you going down this fucking path? You are going down the most dangerous fucking route. You have no survival instincts. At least have like a... Have something, like a flashlight so you can throw it at a person. Have it recorded, alright? You have it for the feds. Have I gone turned around? No, I've been walking in a straight line, yet nothing feels right. Oh, looks right. Stay calm. I pitch a direction and jog. Search for anything familiar. Nothing changes. I double check, check walls, and addresses, still lost. Maybe I checked a note from my parents for the address. Cash receipt? What the fuck is this? Uh, table 12, chicken curry, fried chicken, cheeseburger, beer, water, ketchup, soy sauce, other. Okay. What's the other? A grocery receipt? Possible. I just has a letter. I even... Kept my pockets empty so I wouldn't lose it. Okay, yeah. You can tell that the words here are getting all fucked up. That's suspicious. Wait. This receipt has the exact dimensions and folds as a letter. Should I have... You've added the whole letter? Okay, so you're fucking schizophrenic then. <laughs> no, impossible. I checked the back and then double checked the front. But the receipt remains just that. Okay. You're talking about stuff. I don't give a shit. I didn't even have YouTube open phone. What are you... What are you telling me about? Okay. So, this is a great sign to get the fuck out of there. Oh, it's flickering. Something is very wrong. No shit. I have to get out of here. I have to run. I have to- Oh, are God! You, are you, like, blind or something? Fuck you! Watch where you were going, Klutzerama. Oh, very good, uh, very good insult there. You are also pretty- Everyone in this game is very pretty, even me. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? You're very suspicious. Did you send the fucking imaginary ghost letter? I got my fucking eye on you and them blue fucking lashes. 
I failed, by the way. I flamed right into someone coming the other way. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you all right? I should have been more careful. Whoa, she's really pretty. Hey, I said the same thing. But what on earth is a girl doing wandering around in Sacramento at night? Don't good, good. touch me. Trendy girl. Okay, no, turn around. That's a red flag already. Okay. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to smack into you like that. I just... It, I know it's not an excuse, but I just... I was just in a rush. Oh, yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? What? Yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Save your breath. I am a male, good goes. madam. I'm here to steal you. <laughs> Wait, uh, what? Your boyfriend? Yeah. You heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is mine. Well, you can mind your fucking <laughs> Mind your fucking mind. Who the heck is Buck? Where are all these accusations coming from? I don't know anyone oh. named Buck. Really? Oh, those are the, the, the purple eyes. Don't know who Buck is? Nope. And I'm going to keep it that way, and you can keep them going, yeah. going eyes off me. From out of town, are you? That, my answer depends on further information. The stare. It's real. I turn my head down and briskly walk past her. She starts walking along with hey, me. Hey, look at me. No, I'm good. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a felon. I can't, I can't, oh fuck. I can't let her see my eyes. No matter what, she'll notice. I don't have the sacramental stare. You can tell me. <laughs> Are you from here or what? Can I say I was? <laughs> How about you show me around town? I live here. Oh yeah? Look at me really quick. Hold up a phone, just like reflect her eyes. This is bad. Even if I make it home, she'll know where I live. What do I do? <gasps> oh god! Okay, I'm looking at you. You have very pretty eyes, okay? They, they they glow. They dazzle with beauty. I freeze. Before I know it, I'm already staring right at her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll keep my hands to myself. Oh, what, what you laughing at? Hi. Got another one for you at Missing Person Lane. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. All right. I'm being sold to fucking... <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Why can I not think of his name? Whoa, what the hell? No, I was gonna make a joke, damn it. I'm gonna show it off to Andrew Tate! God, I couldn't think of the name! God, I'm gonna have to cut it, it's gonna be all awkward. Uh, I break into a mad dash, running my hardest. Everything is a blur. My heart pounding in my ears. Can't do a lot of the sound of whistles, shouts, and unidentifiable, un unidentifiable commu uh, commotion coming from all sides. Oh, I'm getting jumped. Damn it, I'm getting robbed. Panting and dizzy. I feel my body slowly... Uh, fuck. So, uh, slowing down. I can't do this, man. It's too much reading. But the image of my- Oh, but the image of my face on the next missing poster changed my legs into action once- What? There! A clearing up ahead! If I could break the light of sight, I might find a chance to hide. As I near the turn off, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end, or it's too dark to find my way, I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. Oh, whoa! This thing is all eaten up. Rounding the corner, I gasped. It's Grandma's house! Thank goodness, I dash out the path and burst through the door. Grandma, get the shotgun! We find for our lives! Oh? I hold the door short, uh, shut for what feels like forever as my pulse, uh, pulse slows. That's a lot of shoes. Oh lord. Hey, a butterfly! Why is it so green? The pounding footsteps... Oh, the pounding footsteps pass by outside. I'm safe. For now. <sighs> hey, what? I may have just been standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my house. I wonder why! <laughs> like the warm, familiar place I grew up in is long gone. I can't put my finger on it, but I- Is it the blood? Is it the shoes? Is it the green fucking neon butterfly out there fucking making its presence known? This dread. Why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? Hello? No response. Grandma? Oh! App? Inspect. Oh! A butterfly caught in a web. Strange. Just see a spider around. Wonder how long the poor thing's been trapped there. Can I just have that beeping on forever? <laughs> Find your upstairs living room. Okay. Hey, this is me! I am so fucking hot. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is where I need to go. 
Uh, so there's dinner. There's the freezer. I think we should just explore for a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. There you go, Bobby. Uh, voice acting. I quite like the voice acting. Everyone sounds, like, really nice. I don't want to do that. Main menu. I'm going to go escape. Okay, that's good. Uh, so this is floor one. Floor zero. So there's a bait. Why are there hearts? What the fuck? Should we explore the hearts? I feel like I'll become a victim, but I do want to see what's going on. Uh, how do I... Wait. Oh. Uh, what, what's this? Back away. Oh, this is how I do stuff. Okay. Can I go there? No. There are all kinds of fucking shoes and shit all around. Oh, hey, look at the hearts. That's quite nice, I think. My, damn, my house is just all fucking torn down. Tori's room. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Enter. This is very strange. Oh, Lord in heaven. So, personally, I think we should leave. What the fuck is this, though? Okay, so this is Tori's room. Uh, goddamn, okay, map. So I gotta keep heading up and do all that. Once I head down, I can do that. Do I really want to go to the kitchen? That's kind of, like, my thing here. I am making a critical fucking error. <laughs> I had I said my character has no survival instincts while I'm out here fucking following the damned bloodstains. Jesus Christ! Grandma, what have you been doing? Okay, so I'm going... Do I want to open the fucking door? That's... Oh, okay. I see, I see the green. Why is it green and glowing? Fresh dripping meat. I should avoid counting the number of legs. Why am I not allowed to inspect this? Why am I still here? Oh? Okay. I feel like I'm going to turn just a little bit too far. What's this? Inspect. It looks like cooking oil, except in this gallon of container, it smells like burnt hair and sulfur. The color is black as soot, too. What the fuck? At least the kitchen is nice and clean. Hey, spices. Unusual, uh, pigment spices. Pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon, to name a couple I see. The air is almost suffocating and sick with their scent. What in the fuck? Why was it glowing green? Are they not human? No. Maybe. Because I remember there was like an old um, Lovecraft story where it was like unknown colors or whatever. Where it's like in the well and they're like, like colors beyond the human imagination and like they start infecting people and when they got infected they started glowing. Maybe something like that. But the terrible smell coming from the fridge, I can't bear to open it. Yeah, that's probably right. Okay. Okay, everything seems good. I am fucking terrified. <laughs> Um, I say we come down this way, because that's kind of like the most guaranteed, like, safe path, right? Okay, there we go. I still have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Okay, we'll go one more. I, I want to get away from all the blood. Alright. Okay. Everything's good. Um, what's going on here? Inspect. Looks like the triple toys have been mostly untouched ever since we left in a hurry. Okay. A little bear thing. Are those bullets? No, sport games. Thank God. What is with all these? Oh, like, all the beds. Oh, is this where you slept? Probably. Why would you sleep so close to the front entrance? That's kind of strange. Who knows? Maybe I'm not up with the culture. Yes, I understand, Mr. Starman. Okay. Okay. Everything seems good. Oh, Lord. What the fuck? I gotta be honest, if it weren't for all the creepiness, you'd have a very nice view. What's this? Uh, so that goes that way. What if I just... 
Okay. <laughs> we get an even nicer view. <gasps> what the fuck? What in the shit is this? There's blood everywhere. Okay, I don't want to go up the stairs though. Um, uh, map. I really want to go here, alright? I want to see what the question mark is. Will it get me killed? Most definitely. Do I still want to see it? Absolutely. Wait, hold up. Do I just gotta go... Okay, so I gotta go all the way up, and then turn. Got it. Just, just keep going, okay? We don't question shit here. I don't think anything's going to come out after me right now, because we're still in the early game. Okay, so I can go... Hey, it doesn't matter which way I go, so we'll just go this way. I'm fucking waiting, dude. I'm waiting. Whoa. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. That's a lot of tentacles. I don't want to go... Uh, we're going down the cross gate. I'm definitely not going down there unless I have to. Well, that's quite wise of you. <laughs> Maybe you do have some survival instincts after all. Alright, let's head back to where we were. Uh, can I just go down this way? Let's see how good my memory is. Hey, I'm doing good! <laughs> Alright. Ta-da! Then we go this way. Alright, off to the stairs. Alright. So far, so good. There's the bathroom. Can we check it out? You know what? Fuck it, let's do it. Okay, the bathroom ain't looking too good. That's, oh man, the fucking toilet's all broken. How am I supposed to clean myself now? Ooh, shampoo. Great beauty product left on the counter. None of these are mine. Okay, baby, they're your parents. What the fuck is this plant? A strange, slowly uh, withering plant. I feel sick from the smell. Oh, is it feeding off the corpses? Maybe. Uh, it said there was something else I couldn't expect here, right? Like, right here? Balcony, okay. Okay, a little hot tub here. We can clean ourselves off. Get all the filthiness off. More flower. Okay, there's not too much here. Again, you'd have a very nice view if it weren't for all the bullshit in the distance. Okay, I thought that was something. No, just my imagination. Alright, where'd the go, mommy? <laughs> That's why I played this fucking game, alright? Uh, um, okay, that's a skull. I don't like that. That's scary. It's looking at me. It has eyes. I'm going to leave it be. All right, uh. Okay, so I got to go down one. Should I go in there real quick? Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, I think this is fine. Uh, oh, inspect a beautiful flower, a pale flower. It's beauty. It is beautiful beyond belief. Uh, posters. Okay, some creepy plastering my little brother's room with smutty posters. Okay, so this is mine. It's not like you have some dignity. Whoever did this is getting a fist in their face. I thought you said it was your brother. Alright, whatever. I ain't going to question it too much. You you, you got your own family business. Uh, doesn't seem like this. Oh. You know what? I want to keep this flower in mind because I bet I can give it to someone. Okay, so far so good. Oh, look at that. Beautiful flowers. We were just talking about those, too. It's just sad that they're all written in blood. Uh. Wait. Hold up. I thought that was... Hold up. I'm gonna go here. That's down there. What? Oh, this is another room. Okay. Oh, it's blocked from the other side by something purple. I can't see clearly through the keyhole either. Okay, well, that's suspicious, then. Very, very suspicious. Oh, <laughs> I wonder which room's mine and where I gotta go. <sighs> Alright. What in the fuck? <laughs> my room, what on earth happened here? Yeah, great question. Who's summoning the devil in my room? I did not give you permission. This occult nonsense has someone... Has someone been leaving it in my house? Maybe your grandma. The candles are still lit. Whoever responsible was just here. Who? Why? Oh? 
Oh, this book isn't mine either. No title, no author, and it reeks of death and decay. With trembling fingers, I open to a random page. <gasps> the goat. We're summoning the goat, mommy. Oh, Fade of the Black Woods. Okay, yeah, so this is shop. Ooh, there's something here. I'm not reading any of that shit. Uh, Seed by... Oh, it's right here. Seed... Uh, Seed of the Black Woods. Instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using remains of a goat and the beating heart of a human. Huh? The beating what? I read and reread the passage, but it's plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. How do you even accomplish that? I reread it again and again, my disbelief washing away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. First, the stare that only the locals have, then the disappearances, then the supernatural overgrown woods, and now this? The truth dawns on me. You just now realize that some fucking shit is going wrong? Sacramento has been overrun by cultists. All of those missing people, my parents, they haven't been spirited away by angry forest bees. Uh, spirits. They've been abducted and I'm next. Oh, and you're right in the den of the beast, too. You are at the, like, epicenter of all this shit. There must be a way to stop this. I flip desperately through the, uh, the books, pulsating pages, searching for anything that might help. Summon the All-Mother. Oh, th this image does not do her justice. Summon the All-Mother. Ritual to force a dark deity behind this madness to physically manifest before me, uh, binding her in a form that cannot directly harm me. That's pretty good. Kinda risky, but you know, this is it. My chance to end this nightmare once and for all. To face the sinister goddess from Sacramento's madness and put a stop to her evil, whatever the cost. I'm gonna take a drink here. This is fucking wild, dude. I was not expecting it to go down this route. Now, personally, I would just take the book, burn the motherfucker. At least try to burn it. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it could be fireproof. Is this a little, like, seed spray? Anyways. But yeah, that's just how I would do things. And I don't know if I'd summon a fucking deity, a binder to my will. I feel like that deity would be pretty pissed off that it was enslaved. But whatever. I'm not the main character. I am the main character. But hey, it's not, I'm not the one dealing with the consequences. Uh, for the sake of everyone who suffered and died, I have to I have to try it. I'll bind this all mother to a physical form and destroy her. Well, I mean, yeah, but not the way you think. <laughs> about to get extra XX rated in this bitch. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. Oh, really? Um. Oh. Yeah, see, it's just it's not to her justice. This ritual will bind the Black Mother. Okay, to summon her... Do the following instructions. Uh, ensure there is an idol of the Black Goat present somewhere in the room. Have a plant, Mr... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Mr. with you. While facing a tree... Of uh, the dark woods, chant her name. Raza Silva Rakata. Drag, drag. Uh, click and drag from the first letter to the end of the phrase. Okay, uh, I am going to put this down. Inspect. Okay. Looks like an idol of the black code. Only has too many legs and too many eyes. It weighs a ton, too. How does this even get upstairs? With a lot of fucking effort, alright? I imagine the cultists are very good at this kind of thing. What the fuck is this? Apparently, someone beat me to it. <laughs> Someone else has their own intentions. My bass guitar looks like they've mostly left it alone. Oh, that's nice of them. You know, they may be cultists, but at least they don't ruin people's house. Okay, never mind, I lie. Hey, ah, there we go. You found the plant mister. At certain times in conversations, the icon will appear and you can spray the speaker with water by right clicking. Oh, it's talking to me. Okay, this will interrupt whatever you're doing or saying. <laughs> Wait, what? You found a plant mister. At certain times in conversation, this icon will appear. And you can spray the speaker with water by right-clicking. This will interrupt what they're doing or saying. <laughs> so this is like my, like, a way to, like, stop interactions or from them attacking me. <laughs> That's really... <laughs> it's like someone there with a hatchet coming down and be like, Nah, just spray it. <laughs> Acting like they're cats. This feature was primarily introduced, in, oh, included in consideration of players who dislike being hit, hit, hit on by older slash eldritch abomination, but it has other uses too. No, I like that. <laughs> that is really funny for me to read, or for them to put that in there for. All right, so I'm going to get hit on by an eldritch abomination. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> I have no morals in this shit. Uh, I am not going to snuff anything. 
All right. Whoa, what's this? Oh, I have four hearts, three art mine. All right. Maybe we should read some of this. Uh, why can't I go home? Why can't I sleep? Why can't I die? I can feel the roots like a thousand spires on my skin. Everyone is rooted. Everyone is rooted. All right, I got an image of Beelzebub here. God, where have I gone? Why are you writing in this book, dude? I mean, this isn't this isn't your book, right? This ain't like a school textbook. Uh oh dear. Okay, that looks like fucking Cthulhu there, hung upside down. Uh very, very interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This isn't a good sign. Oh, look at it, the pretty flowers. Uh the woods fat the oh the woods find themselves on us. The dead feed on the woods. The living feed the woods. Whose blood is a tree breeding? Oh bleeding. Alright, another little area. I do not like the fact that that looks like veins. Kind of uncomfortable. I ate someone. Alright, yep. That's about car, car for the course at this point. Oh. <laughs> I like how at the end of all that, you just have like this little pretty image here with all the flowers and stuff. Alright, well let's go all the way back and actually read this thing. I'm just trying to see if there's like any secrets here. Oh! No, okay, that's just something else. Oh. Enough of that. Stuff cancelled! How do I do this? Okay, first letter. Slowly. That is bullshit. <laughs> okay, uh, redraw. Am I supposed to redraw that? Oh. Is is, is this important? Uh, I don't think so. Uh. Let's do this one. Okay, slowly. Oh, snuff candles! Okay, never mind. Let's <laughs> let's do this properly now. Aha! There we go, I'm a genius! Oh, what the hell? Have your pathetic lives not been extended long enough by my gift? You're hot. Have your lusts not been sated? No. Must you continue Can you help? to torment your goddess so? Listen, I'm just a bystander, alright? I mean, I'm down for it, but hey. My heart pounds as an, an immense towering figure materializes before me. A very hot one. My head is splitting open. I can't think. I can, oh, can barely breathe with this weight crushing down on me. Oh my. So she's voluptuous. Who I am? Yeah, I, I summoned you. Sad. That's the whole reason why. The black goat of the woods. This day. Oh dear. Well, good thing I have a vet in here. Madness given form, shredding my sanity with each step that passes. It's evil, ancient and endless, peering into the deepest parts of me that were never meant to be seen. Oh dear God, she has the power of Google. Dangerous ground, little lamb. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is my first time, so hopefully we uh, have a fresh start here. I will make you rude each second of agony you have inflicted. Wait, what I do? Choose your next words carefully. What more could you possibly want of me? Speak! Can I have a hug? <laughs> I have to banish her to send her back before there is nothing left of me. But the words I need won't come. I really think I could face a power like this. Stupid, stupid girl. Oh, I am a girl. Okay. I guess we're scissoring then. With the last shred of my will, I cling to the thought of why I came, why I dared this folly. I swallowed violent terror, straighten my spine, grab a candle from the floor, and speak shakily. I'm here to stop you from hurting another soul. I <laughs> I'm sending you back to the darkness you crawled out of, one way or another. Really? Oh? Okay, you're changing your all act real quickly. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I thought this nightmare would never- <laughs> You also don't want to be here? <laughs> no, aren't you supposed to be like, kind of sounding or something? Yeah, what is this? this? Get me out of here. Um, okay. I, it seems we're on the same team, then. My brow, uh, wait, why? Ain't this like your whole cult thing? I'm very confused. Go, mommy. Uh, my, uh, my brow furrows as I stare at her, wordless. Isn't she supposed to be- to, oh, isn't he supposed to want to, you know, 
uh, spread madness or whatnot? Confused. Yeah, can you explain, please? Well, yeah, you want to be exercised? <sighs> yes. I'm rooted to your planet and cannot be removed without a human's aid. <laughs> Lol. I don't understand. You have so many followers. Followers that try to kill me. Am I dad? And they free you instead. I've gotten messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. What happened? They worship you. What the fuck my happened? My followers have turned against me and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. Isn't that what you want? Have pity on this old, tired goat and banish me so I can't trouble humanity any longer. Please. Okay, I don't believe you. Help me. I do want to help you, but like, I'm, I'm sus the fuck out. Why? I run my temple. This is tricky. On one hand, I came here to banish her. This corrupted force is devouring this town, and who knows how much further it will spread if nothing's done. On the other hand, I have serious uh, revelations about helping an ancient god do anything. All those missing people posters, she's responsible. She and her cult are pure evil, but for now, we have the same thing. Her god. God damn, so the simps are really getting to her. <laughs> those tier 3 subs are doing her in. Alright. Tell me how to do this. Do I just grab an old knife or... Mortal weapons can harm me, child. But they cannot stop me. Okay. But that book you carry, it holds the key to my banishment. Okay, can you, like, point it out? Perform the rituals in order until you arrive at the uprooting ritual. That one will banish me for good. I am so, like, sussed out. I'm not sure if I first should believe you. First you will need a partner. I am a goddess of lust... I know. So, many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mate, your heart's desire. Perform the spawn partner ritual on the next page. Okay, well, you're already here, so it's fine. Oh, will it summon her? That'd be really funny. This one? Wait, this wasn't here before! <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, light the candle that- Uh, okay. Light the ritual candle. The color of the flame does not matter, so please choose the color you find comforting. Alright, let's do that right now. Ooh. Green, blue, pink, purple, yellow. Which one's, like, nice? Red? Let's do pink. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, have your choice of an aromatic herb on your person. Pick your scent you find pleasant. Um. Um. Um, there's nothing here, I think. Oh, it's her! Hello there! I can talk to her. So, these followers, are you... Are you kind of, like, jealous ex-boyfriends, then? You don't have... Uh, you want nothing to do with them, but they won't let you Actually, leave? Yes, that's precisely right. They're like my exes. Oh. And using the same metaphor, if you try to date me... Then my exes will hack you to death with farm tools. Oh! Worth it. I guess that last part wasn't a metaphor. Don't matter to me. Maybe I should get back to the ritual That's then. That's probably a good idea. Yep. Well, just know I'm down to date you whenever, alright? We'll have a good old time. I won't abuse you. I merely- Oh, take lavender. Okay, that'll work. Ooh, rosemary? I'm gonna take a mint, actually. I quite like the smell of mint. Okay, imagine your idea- Okay, imagine your idea of person. If it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. Tom Brady, no. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Okay, click a drag. Okay. I really hope he summons a goat mommy. That'd be funny. I was right! <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Wait, I can explain! It's exactly what it seems like. I've got nothing. What is wrong with my taste? You ain't got nothing wrong. <laughs> There's no need to be bashful. Especially after all that time you spent playing coy. <laughs> Listen, this is apparently In new to me. Of the circumstances, perhaps... I will allow you to be my partner. I mean, I might as well have already won. Really? And that's okay with you? Even though we just met? Well, yeah, this is quite sudden. And <coughs> it'll be a long, 
long time before I could ever trust a human again. Oh, You know what? We'll work towards it slowly, together. But I'm not exactly the god of taking things slow. Ooh. Besides, oh. I already have a thousand children. <laughs> There's no harm in a thousand and one. I love this game. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? Taking me as your partner? Yeah, exactly. I thought you were talking about just being my girlfriend. You thought the two definitions of partners that a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning? What? Wait, hold up. I'm confused now. You thought you thought the two definitions of partner that a fertility goddess was referring to with platonic meaning? No. The three meanings of partner. Oh. Cowboys. You're still joking around while standing so close to me. You should be melting with desire. Being anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousandfold. Is my character asexual? That's bullshit. Oh, that one's easy. Oh, that's an easy one. A thousand times zero is zero. You Wait, motherfucker. Are you saying what I think you're saying? My character's got no taste. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? No, I think I'm still in high school. And... Well, I'm in college, but you know. You, you aren't with child now? Are you going to fix that? You're going to die here, and there's nothing I can do to help. Why? Why am I dying? What? I thought we were trying to get you out of here! You're just not going to help me because I don't have kids? I won't. It's that I can't. What? What do you mean? I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential. Oh, whoops. And I want a big family. The biggest family possible. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. Okay, that can still be fixed. Turn an Eldritch de deity, just like, do some deity magic and grow your. Alright? You fucking dick, <laughs> dick magician extraordinaire, just get that title on, alright? Those that best serve that goal receive a fraction of my power. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended life Oh, I was gonna say, that, that, that motherfucker's got well endowed. And in some cases, <laughs> immortality. And those followers. Lucky bastards? Are the ones looking for you. Fuck. You, on the other hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable. No kids, no powers. Wait, why do I need kids then? Is, is everyone here a parent? What if I don't want powers or kids? What if I drained the life from your body? And then used it to fertilize my wicked soil until something that will give me grandchildren comes crawling out. That's hot. I take an involuntary step backwards. <laughs> I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Are you alright? God, you're hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Other than that, let's just move on to the next ritual so we can get it out of here. Yeah. Mm. Listen, this is the modern age. We got shotgun and shit, alright? <laughs> they won't be nothing toward the 12 gauge. Holy moly, that was freaking scary. He's really taking this hard. I better go get the stuff for the next ritual. Yeah, I don't really see what the problem is. Especially when it comes to the whole children stuff. Uh, okay, so we need to go here. Got it. Well. Let's see. Actually, you know what? You know, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. I think this is a really good place to leave it off. I think this is a really good, like, introduction to the series. And I don't really want it to be too long. Because I know if an episode is really long, people aren't going to watch it. So this will serve as like a, a bit of a teaser of what's to come. And I already really like this character. This is not what I was expecting, especially from the trailer. Because I knew she was going to be in the game, but I remember seeing like, it looked like a school area that you were kind of like traversing. So I thought she would be like putting you in like a simulation type of thing. And then you'd have to like try to survive and then go find her and like banish her that way. So it's interesting that you're actually teaming up with an Eldritch Abomination in order to like get rid of her. Because usually... Again, in Elder games, you're usually, like, working against them, or they're, like, manipulating you into, like, freeing them. So this is very interesting. This is a lot of fun. Anyways, other than that, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe by the second round, and if I don't see you again, good morning, good evening, and good night. Bye.